Hey, this is Greg and the Canva Create 2025 keynote is just finishing up where they launched lots of cool new Canva features. And I wanna make sure you can unlock that new Canva interface. So what you wanna do is click right up here in that top right of your interface and just click, click, click until you get in and unlock. So when you do, it's gonna give you a number. I got a number to 4,000. Can anybody beat my number? Post down below in the comments what number you've got. So get in there, play around with the new features. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of some of the features right now. But then what you wanna do is play around and you wanna to subscribe to this channel because in the days ahead, I'm gonna be updating you in depth on all these features. And if you follow this channel, you know on this channel, I cover all things Canva. Okay, I literally have to head out the door fairly soon to take my daughter to dance practice, but I've been watching this keynote address and taking notes for you guys. So let me give you a quick update. And then as mentioned, if you subscribe to this channel, I am gonna be coming out with in-depth updates in the days ahead. But let me give you the big overview of these new features in Canva. Okay, the first one is what they're calling the Visual Suite 2.0. And basically it's the idea that you can now have all parts of a design in one place. So pages that might be different sizes, you might have a document, you might have social media assets, you might have a whiteboard, you can now do it all in one place. Let me show you what I mean. So if I just jump into a presentation here, now we're in a presentation and you may be familiar at the bottom here where you can add pages, but now all of a sudden we have this drop down. So I have a presentation page here, but I can bring up this and hey, maybe I want a social media asset, an Instagram reel for the next part. Right, so now I can add another page here and I'm adding Instagram Reels. Then suddenly, all of a sudden, maybe I wanna put some notes to my team in here, so maybe I wanna use a whiteboard, break out something for uh, uh, brainstorming. Then maybe we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a new page in here and we're gonna use this drop down again and add in video or a website. So now suddenly the idea with this Visual Suite 2.0 is that you can add all sorts of different formats all within one design project. And the way you do it now is at the bottom, when you add a page, you now have this drop down where you can choose what kind of content you wanna add for the next page. So I think this is a very cool addition to Canva and something that's gonna be very helpful. Okay, next big new feature announced. If you're someone that likes data, Canva now has their own version of spreadsheets. So they're calling it Canva Sheets. So from your home screen now, you can launch a sheet. And then from in here, you can import your own data. You can pull it from a public data source. Uh, you can start with any of these templates under the design tab here. I'm just gonna click one to open it up. We'll go ahead and add it as a new page here. But of course, you can enter in your own data. Uh, there are formulas in here. So if you wanna sum different columns, if you wanna do all kinds of statistical things with different columns, you can do that. And then you can even highlight data now and they have this magic charts feature. So you can come in here. It's automatically gonna suggest a chart type to you. Of course, you can choose from a lots of different types. So I think this is very very exciting now that we have data here within Canva. So I'm gonna play around this with this. I'll give you a more de detailed tutorial later, but I'm really excited about the possibility of being able to pair this potentially with bulk create because that's one of the things they teased at the keynote speech is the ability now to use something like magic AI to write some copy for you, uh, then give it some graphics, give it some instructions and have it built out multiple sort of content pieces for you. And also within here, you can generate uh, the different charts, but you can also use Magic Write. You can also pair it with Bulk Create. You can, bulk create. You can also resize designs. So I think creating a lot of content fast and now having some data behind that with this Magic Sheets, I think this is really, really going to be potentially another great new feature in Canva. So more on that in the days ahead. Okay, and then the final really big announcement today at the keynote was just even more AI power in Canva. So now on your home screen, you have this Canva AI button. If you click on this, you get over to this exclusive Canva AI interface. And from here, you can basically ask it to create anything you want. So you can ask it to create a design, to create an image, a document, or you can have it even code something for you, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, let's just go in here and I actually went ahead and asked it to create a presentation for me on the Brie traits of German short hair pointers so that is the type of dog we just got in our house we actually just got a second dog so if you see me in the intro for these videos and i look tired and i haven't shaved it's because well we got a second dog and life is pretty crazy but i'm sure you understand about life being crazy we all have things uh, that steal our time that's why in canva we want to learn these ways where we can save time and now we can have it launch a presentation for you now i specifically asked it for a 20 slide presentation because look i just wanted to show you that it will now give you 20 slides before it was really limited in the number of slides 
you can you could ask it for now it seems like it is more substantial where you really can ask for something more not only that you can create uh, something and then you get prompts here to refine it farther you can actually come down here and type even more prompts to refine it farther and of course as mentioned you can create presentations but you could also do Instagram reels you could also ask for images which of course you can also do under the uh, Canva Dream Lab, which is sort of seems like Dream Lab has been moved here and now is sort of within this interface. So now we're sort of within the Dream Lab interface. I don't see it over in the left menu anymore. So if you're saying what happened to Dream Lab, is it gone? No, it's not gone. It's just within this interface now. You get to it through this AI interface. Uh, so you can go ahead and do all these things. And the last thing I want to show you today is the code for me. So this code for me thing is pretty cool because now it will actually code for you and create a widget which you can use in a Canva design, or you can use in something like a website. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask it for it to create me a simple Pac-Man game. Now, if you've ever done any coding, you actually know it's actually pretty complex to code even a simple game like this, but we're gonna go ahead and ask it to do this and see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's gone ahead and created this and look at this here. So let's go ahead and let's try to play this here. So let's restart the game. I'm using my arrow keys and whoa, I may have to tell it to help me adjust the speed. Uh, but look at how cool this is. So now I can use this in a design. So real quickly here and right within the design here, I can come in here and can I restart the game within design? No. So I may have to publish this or have it uh, sort of published or preview. Let's see if I come in here. Uh, so in preview mode, I can play it. So in a design that I share, I could probably play this in a website, I could play this. So this is very cool. Obviously I have to make some tweaks here because the speed is way too fast on my computer. But I think for educational perch, perch for educational purposes, for teachers who want to make their classroom more engaging and they want to take their unit sort of uh, information and turn it into a game, there's so many potential uses here. I really love that Canva is incorporating this sort of coding in their latest AI tool set. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I will give you more detailed video updates in the days ahead. Go ahead and start playing with these things and I will see you soon. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past.